Hey internet, it's me, Joshua. I work here at Stone Creek Coffee. I'm actually the tech director. And today we got our Caflano. Caflano Classic, we're gonna go into that in just a little bit, but I also wanted to talk a little bit about the coffee that we're gonna be drinking and brewing today. So this is called Ring of Fire. You can get it in any of our cafes or online. So I'm gonna put this Ring of Fire back. I'm gonna start with this Caflano. Open her up and we're gonna go ahead and take this off. So we got a little plastic kettle that Caflano provides you with. It's got a pour slash spout hole right here that when you're making your coffee, you're gonna be able to have a little bit more accuracy with how you're making your coffee and with where your water's going. So that's the plastic kettle. We got our conical burr grinder, which sits on top of our brewing chamber or brewer. And right below that, we have our double walled cup that you can use to drink out of. You can use it to, actually they provide you with a little lid here. It goes right on top. That way your coffee stays nice and hot for as long as you need it. That's the Caflano. Let's go ahead, put it back together. We're gonna talk a little bit about that ring of fire and then we're gonna make some fire coffee. I don't like that I said that. I'm just gonna go ahead and go with it, it's fine. This Ring of Fire is from Guatemala. It's from the San Sebastian farm, and it's from Antigua. It's super tasty, it's a light roast. If we're getting that brew right, we're gonna get a little bit of cherry in there, a little bit of almond. It's gonna be really nice, middle of the tongue, soft, nice, delicate coffee. Move this over to the side, and we're gonna start off with 20 grams of coffee. If you don't have a scale at your hotel room or if you don't have a scale at your campsite, we're gonna go ahead and show you where to put the coffee just so you don't have to get that scale. Inside this grinding chamber, there are lines just up the side and we're gonna fill it up to just about halfway up those lines. And we're gonna go ahead and grind. Took me a little bit to get to this grind size. When I opened this up, it was at a factory setting that I just didn't really like. It didn't really do, um, didn't give me the flavors I was looking for, didn't give me the consistency I wanted. So what I did is I decided to tighten up the grind by moving, real quick I'll pause, if you take this center pin off, you can move this grinding uh, wheel to change the depth and the size of your grind. And so that's what I did, is I took it as tight as I could, as fine as I could, and moved it back little by little until I really found that flavor that I was looking for, that taste. Um, and here in a second, you know what, just you and me. Right here. Oh, we're done. Well, it was a nice, it was nice, right? Flip this up, that little tap, there's some chaff that's stuck in that conical burr chamber. Just did that tap and lift it up nice and straight. That way, all that chaff is just right inside. And what we're looking for is kind of a coarse table salt grind size. If you've had French press coffee before, you're gonna kind of look for in between French press and a Chemex grind size. So that's kind of what we got. I feel like we got into a good spot. So I'm gonna take this plastic kettle that they provide us with, and we're gonna start off with the bloom. And when you bloom, it allows the gases to be released from the coffee and you don't have that kind of bitter, just like unpleasant taste that you get from a lot of coffees. So when we do that bloom, fill this chamber up. There's a little button on the inside of that plastic kettle. You're gonna fill it up until it just hits the edges of that button. And that is gonna be around 50 grams or 50 milliliters of water. That's gonna be exactly what you need for that bloom. So we're gonna go ahead and bloom. Nice and slow. Make sure you're being even, concentric, and making sure you're really getting all of those grounds saturated as well as you can. Finish up that water there, put that to the side. I'm gonna take my handy dandy spoon, give it a nice stir, agitate it. If you don't have a spoon and you're camping, grab a stick, maybe. Now it's doing its bloom. We probably got about 15 seconds left on that bloom. So I'm gonna fill this back up with 250 milliliters of water which if you don't have a scale, like I said before, you just fill up right to the bottom of that spout that you're gonna be pouring from. And that's almost exactly 250 milliliters. So that's super great, super handy. So we're just gonna go ahead, push this water in here and see what happens. We're going nice and slow, making sure we're hitting all these grounds. And once we get to the top here, there it is. We're gonna let that crust form. We're gonna let those grounds kind of settle into themselves. And we're gonna wait for that coffee level to slowly drip down to about where my hands are, just about to the top of that double walled cup that it's brewing into. So right now we've kind of, if you do have a skill, we're probably around 200 milliliters of water, or 200 grams in there. And we're letting that kind of do an immersion kind of brewing, which is kind of like French press or AeroPress, stuff like that. Um, you're letting the coffee sit in the grounds and really extract the caffeine, the flavors, the 
uh, the tasty tastes, all that stuff. We're just waiting for it to get about halfway down. Now we got the rest of our water. We're gonna fill it back up right to the top. Make sure we're still getting that even pour circles around. Make sure the grounds are really nice and saturated. Look at the look at the grounds on top. If you see grounds that are darker, aim for those grounds. If you see a side of your slurry is getting a little lighter, you're gonna wanna stay away from there because it's already been saturated. You're already hitting that part with water. So that's gonna be about a total of 300 milliliters of water or final product coffee. We're letting the water now slowly drip down. And as the grounds settle inside that conical brewing chamber, they're gonna kind of start to block off that filter. And that filter is a really fine mesh filter. And we wanna make sure that that water still has time and still has pathways to get through. So as it settles down a little bit, inside this chamber, the grounds are settling down and packing in on the bottom. And we wanna make sure that there's, as I said, some ways for it to get through. So we're gonna give it a stir here. One, two, three, let's go for four. Honestly, this, this Caflano, we just recently put this on our store on stonecreekcoffee.com. And you can go and pick one of these up yourself, as well as the hot water kettle that I used and a lot of other things mugs, bandanas, socks, stuff like that. Swag yourself out, get some merchy merch, do what you need to do to make yourself feel good about yourself. And this coffee is definitely gonna make me feel good about myself. So as I'm waiting here, grab my nice Stone Creek mug. Uh, we're gonna fill it up, make sure it's preheated. If you got some extra water laying around, extra hot water, fill it up. You're gonna do yourself a favor here. Or you can drink it right out of the vessel. Totally up to you. So I think we're about good. I'm gonna pull that, set that, in our lid here. Give it a stir. I slurp, not because I am gross. I slurp because you want that coffee to hit all of your taste buds. Your, your tongue has so many different taste buds that pick up different flavors and tastes and you wanna make sure that you hit all of them with a fine mist of that coffee. Really get that flavor profile down and that's how you're gonna taste your coffee the best way in my opinion. Just gonna give it another taste. Yeah, yeah, that's good. That that'll do for any campsite, any hotel, or if at home. This is a this is a great, great way to get yourself a nice cup of coffee to share too. You're gonna find that as you're grinding and as you're finding your perfect recipe, things aren't gonna go the same way each and every time. And that's the fun thing about coffee is you get to figure out what works for you. So if you want to try any of this stuff at home, just go ahead and visit our website, stonecreekcoffee.com. Coffee can be a journey. So remember to never stop learning.